Welcome back to x Find CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing bean break. Follow the bee on the screen. Breathe in as the bee moves up one side of the square. Hold your breath as the bee moves across the top. Breathe out as the bee moves down. Then hold your breath as the bee moves across the bottom of the square. Let's practice together. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath. That was so calming. Our IPTV crew and Miss Hart's drama class came together to make a skit for today's Black History Spotlight. Let's take a look. Yeah. So, what are you guys doing? I'm sorry I'm late. Hey Malia, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just practicing ballet. One day I want to be as good as Misty Copeland. Who's Misty Copeland? Well, Misty was the first black woman to be a principal dancer at American Ballet Theater. She sounds amazing, but how did she begin her career? Well, Misty wasn't always at the top. She had five siblings, so she often had to compete for attention. She taught herself how to do headsets and cartwheels, and she even pretended to perform in front of an audience. Well, so she self-taught? Yep, and all that hard work paid off when she wowed the coach at a ballet audition and got offered three ballet classes. That's pretty cool. Also, with her darker skin and muscular body, Misty stood out from others, but she didn't let that get in her way. Her motto is, you can be who you are, she says. You don't have to look like the person next to you. She sounds very inspiring. She is, and other people from diverse backgrounds know that despite their skin color, they can still succeed. I love that skit. Now let's see what's cooking with Zymel. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is corn dog, ketchup packet, mustard, sweet potato fries, celery, diced pears, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow breakfast is sausage breakfast pizza, graham crackers, fresh apples, cocoa puffs, 100% apple juice, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Zermel. Scholars, you still have a little over a month to complete this course instructional software challenge. Make sure to take a look at the flyer to see the requirements. It's possible, so make it happen. Students, make sure to keep participating in our Black History Month calendar. Tomorrow, use Flipgrid to record your favorite Black musician. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. I can't wait for the next family night on March 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be an off the wall, so prepare to have fun and check the fly for some more details. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. Sports fans, tomorrow boys' basketball team has a game away at Poznak at 4 p.m. Good luck, boys, and let's go, Patriots! 
Yesterday morning, you may have seen Drumline making some noise in the hallways. Let's take a look. what the weather looks like today with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Today's weather expected to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Let's enjoy this mild weather. Now let's go to Destiny's for our birthdays. Thank you, Jasmine. Today's birthday boy is Makai Norris. And yesterday, we missed a few birthdays. So yesterday's were Everson Bueno Ramon and Jeremiah and Malik Nicholas. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your PAX expectations. It represents... Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat this girl's right respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Sands and Miss Mickle. You are the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, name the animal with the largest eyes. The correct answer was a colossal squid. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Teachers. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!